Good afternoon everybody it and is. good afternoon from Canterbury Caravan and Camping Club site. Mm, in the beautiful sunshine. It's redders. It, it is, is baking. 3rd of October it is absolutely redders. We're sweltering in shorts and t-shirts. <laughs> and as you probably realised by now is we're getting in front with the videos. Yeah. Um, so yeah. we have got a happy birthday haven't we? Oh we have yes. Hang on one second call. I'm on it I'm on it. Yes, we've got, it's actually going to be a belated birthday. A belated birthday. Um, because we're a week in front with the videos, mm. um, we'll have actually have missed your birthday. Yes. But it's a happy birthday to Gillian Neville from your husband Stephen. For last Thursday. For last Thursday. Yes, yeah, so happy birthday. Uh, yes, a big happy birthday from us. So we've come to this site for two reasons. One, we love, I love having a good shower. And I said to you, yeah. I ain't had a good shower for, well, it must be three weeks since we went on a site with actual showers yeah, on with we good can facilities, use, yeah. Uh, yeah. which are actually just opposite us there yeah. um, and everything we're getting down a bit on power even yeah. though the sun's shining yeah. well we probably could have managed but it will like let's just treat ourselves yeah why not it, 26 pound 10 mm -hmm. pence i think it was yeah. for one night so it's like yeah. right we'll do that um, and then I think we're going to probably head somewhere like Hearns Bay after here. Yeah, I'd like to go to Hearns Bay. We called We've done last it before, year. Yeah, yeah, and we didn't stay. We didn't have enough time to stick around to explore, and it was a lovely place. It was. It was very lovely. Um, and again, they've got allocated motorhome bays in one of the car parks, so we'll hopefully try yes. and get one of them. Yeah, we will, and we've got the seats out for a change. We have. Like I say, blocks on there. It's a there's bit a, windy, but it's still warm. There's a bit of breeze, but we've got a happy Zaki in here. Yep, very happy. Because he can play on his laptop, not worry about power. We get everything charged up as usual. Starlink out. Beautiful. So while we're here, washing machine's £3.50. We got half a basket of washing, haven't we? So we're going to keep yeah. on top of that job. Yeah. Get I all think these bikes charged. Maybe while we're here, I might just go and do a towel and dog blankets as well. Why not? £3.50. Mm. It'll soon dry it in will. this weather. Oh, it's still charging okay. Our wind's got up, but it'll help the washing dry, won't it? I've just been watching. There's an A-class parked up by the children's play area, and they've got their awning out, and it's literally lifting it two, three foot in the air. Yeah. Somebody's just been and knocked on the van, but I presume they're not in. Oh yes, you gotta be very careful. Don't want to be wrapping that up at roof. That's why we ain't got ours out. <laughs> right. What was I doing? They were not used to this. Sacks having sausage and mash in the microwave. So much easier. Really? And we'll be able to warm the uh, chili con carne up in there. Just make life even easier today. Catherine's out here, she's uh, sorting out a bit of stuff in the garage. Well, it's absolutely glorious. Look at it. The weather is definitely been on our side and it looks like it's forecast this for the next couple of weeks so bring it on more redders that's what we need it can go right here nice sausage and mash thank you there you go just watch it it's hot though mm. boo's just had his biscuits and his salmon he's loving life down there because he's got a bit of sunshine coming in it's time for our tea what would you like Whatever you'd like to cook, me dear. Uh, what about an apple? I've already had one. What about two apples? No, all right then. Would you like chili con carne? Are you not bothered? Yeah, it needs eating up. Well, yeah, that's what I think. Chili yeah. con carne and chips. I'll do, mate. We've got some uh, more of these um, frozen chips in here. We're in the microwave. So while we get used to the microwave, we'll use these. These are beautiful. These really are nice. So we get them used up. Here we go, come and sit down. Thank you. Fries to go and chili con carne. Look That'll at that. do me. That'll do you. So that's them fries I've been on about. I think I've shown them before on the channel. Yeah, they are really nice. They're really good, especially if you've got the microwave. We've had tea and we've been walking around site for 20 minutes trying to find the bins. <laughs> So like there's no bins anywhere. Yeah, ended up asking somebody, they're proper yeah. well hidden. I like, nearly have to go out the entrance to find the bin. Yeah. I've never known anything like it in all my life. Yeah. Tell you what though, it's a nice site. It is a nice site. Mm. Catherine says she could work here, but she I says could... that on every single site we go to. Oh no, the other one's been too big. No, but... every site we... Yeah, well, you said, well, there's not many pictures here. We've seen them 160. 160 something. Yeah, so it, <laughs> it is big. Yeah. 
But we're just gonna uh, mm. sit down now, watch a bit of YouTube, have a cup of tea. Yeah. Well, you're going for a shower. I'm going for a shower. I've had a shower. Zach's mm -hmm. going for a shower in a bit. Mm -hmm. So um, we're not going to be up to a lot tonight. So uh, no, we'll I think it's chill out. Put your feet up. Put yeah. YouTube on, and see what everybody's up to. Yes, and we'll catch up with you a lot in the morning. Yeah, we'll see you in the morning. <coughs> Good morning, everybody. We're fully clean, fully charged, mm. and ready to roll this morning, aren't we? Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting packed away. We've got to be off here for twelve o'clock. And uh, and as usual, we're going to our favourite place first off. We're going to Aldi, mm -hmm. aren't we? Yes. We need a bit of shopping, as we, we always do. It's mainly fridge stuff. Um, obviously and it's all fridge stuff, isn't it? Really? Well, yeah, fridge stuff and a bit of freezer stuff. Because yeah. obviously, freezer with the freezer being the size it is, you can only keep so much in there. We seem to have got several bags of chips started as well, so we need to thin them out. Yeah. Um, and then after there we need to go to, um, there's a tool station a bit further up because I need to buy some CT1 because them outdoor cameras I've got, I've got one fastened on the mirror out there, um, just inside the mirror which looks down the side of the van absolutely perfect but rather than having it tie wrapped on because it looks a mess I'm going to stick them on with some CT1 because I've got them so it's like why not have the cameras out yeah. and That's then if we need to look down the sides of the van when we're in bed or if we're out and about we can do it yeah can't we mm -hmm. and Why then not? we're going to another motorhome stop up at Hearns Bay now if you're a regular of the channel you would have seen we went there um, just just over a, just year, over ago, a year ago yeah. when we come back off the ferry yeah so we're heading up there for the day yeah we? after Aldi yeah after Aldi yes aren't we Bill well, you You'd love it here, wouldn't you? Nice bit of grass for you to run on. When you go to Hearns Bay and it's all concrete. Hmm. With a beach? It's got a beach though. You like that word? Uh, I like the beach, Mum. I like running on the beach. It's one of my favourite places to go. And this is one job I need to get into a habit of using is the Tom Tom Camper Go sat nav. Because I've been getting lazy in using Google on the phone and wow, it took us down some crappy roads yesterday. So I need to get into a habit of using that. It's only three mile to Aldi, but I just don't want to go down any small roads if I can help it. Because, uh, yes, it's getting a bit of a tight squeeze some of the places we've been in this. But first job, we've got Boo Boo strapped in. He's ready to roll down there. Um, we need to head down to the motorhome service point just over there and fill up with water. What do we see? We've made it to the seaside. We've made it to Hearns Bay. We have. And hopefully we can get a parking spice. Yes. Because they've got dedicated motorhome bays down here. They have. I think there's only five, but hopefully we can get into one. It's looking busy already. Oh, oh. <laughs> yes, the street's rather busy. So it looks nice. Nice to be back at the seaside again. Yes. Looks like the motorhome bays are empty. Cool. Our AMPR cameras to let you in and out. And they are the motorhome bays yep. just here. And these are the motorhome bays. Well, they've got uh, Max Lee combed off this time. Yeah. Off. Don't recommend. Recall seeing them last time. Right, which one do we want? Uh, the end one looks smaller. <laughs> <laughs> that beautiful sea. Oh, it's a bit windy down here, but we have stayed here before. I think we stayed in this one or this one, actually, the last time we were here. So yeah, this is where we're going to spend today and tonight. And I'll show you in a minute, I've been and bought the CT one, what I've got in mind for that. So I just reminded the centers of parking charges, it's £1.50 per hour. Winter up charge. till nine o'clock at night that's the winter charge plus two pound overnight so from 9 a.m uh, 9 p.m until 7 30 a.m is two quid which is bang on but we've just worked out it's going to cost us 14 pounds to stay till half seven in the morning yeah so it's probably a little bit expensive but 
we wanted to come back here so we'll just do we it we did and it's right on the seafront you've mm. got everything on your doorstep and that, that's what you're paying for i think aren't you but we're going to prepare some food it's only going to be some standard food so it'll not make you all hungry <laughs> it's just going to be a sandwich yeah and yeah we'll just just pay it and just stop here it just almost be just driving around and using diesel yeah. so yeah yeah we'll just um yeah definitely all right let's get a sandwich made because i'm yes, hungry i'm hungry as well have a nice would you like a nice cheese and cheese tomato? tomato i think yeah what's well, nice tomatoes from aldi have a nice cheese and tomato sandwich do we think i'm getting him trained well look now in case you think i'm doing nothing not just cooks tea he even makes the sandwiches i'm making the sandwiches <laughs> for once <laughs> i mean for once <laughs> She's happy, she's happy she's at Earn's Bay. She's been wanting to come back here since we were here last. And that's cheese and tomato sandwich. And you've got to have Heinz salad cream. Well, I hope you can hear us over the wind. Ah, it is a bit breezy. It's very windy and we're at Hearns Bay. It's on the North Kent coast, straight above Canterbury. And it's gorgeous, isn't it? It is. Well, it is a little bit windy. But we're gonna go for a walk down the seafront because it's lovely and warm isn't it mm. and we've even got Zaki yeah he's ventured out actually managed to get him dressed for the first time in a day or two eh? <laughs> he likes he likes uh, lounging about in his comfies doesn't he he does but, but unfortunately his new trainers i was just yeah, pulling them tight new and i've broken are... uh, one of the lace loops yeah one of the lace loops just broken i only uh, worn them once yeah so we're gonna have to have a another trip to sports direct aren't we yeah and get them exchanged for him oh that wind this is the clock tower there's a bit about it on here built in 1837 first year of Queen Victoria's reign that still looks really well watch him go it's kind of a beach boo it's not the best beach <laughs> but it's beachified it's sandy he's happy he's happy because he loves going on the sand on his act yeah I think these should be free why should you have to put money in to look out what do you reckon Zach? Mm. you see them all seasides for donkey's years they should be free you shouldn't have to pay for one of them look behind us here you've got a nice play park for the kids and a little bit of a garden there and then straight across there you got weather spoons there's Zachy mm. spoons is over there fish and chip shop there's a few ice cream places Lovely. Got a bit of an indoor cafe here. You can come and sit. Amy, Amy Johnson. Johnson. She's a record breaking pilot and engineer from the 1930s. And she's out there. What's she looking at? Know, she's, smiling. she's smiling at something. She's looking over that way up to the skies mm -hmm. probably looking across for I don't know planes. incoming planes incoming planes from us I guess they're coming from Germany that way what year is she from Imagine like 1930s yes serving her country off the shores of Herne Bay on January the 5th 1941 she was 37 year old That's what she's looking for. She's keeping a lookout for enemy fighter planes. It's gorgeous now that sun's out. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. It is. Earns Bay is beautiful. We've got Bay. these lovely gardens that you can just go and sit in. Then down here you've got a few things for the kids to do. We keep calling it Hearns Bay, got but it's not Hearn Bay. Hearn Bay, yeah. <laughs> Hearn Bay, not Hearns. I don't know where we keep getting the I don't S know, from. we've kind of got into a habit of calling it that, Yes, once you get into a habit of calling somewhere something, it's hard to call it <laughs> by its proper name. Hearn Bay. Looks <laughs> like they're uh, doing this bit up down here. Mm. Can see it? Well yeah, you've got a little bit of something for 
the likes of Zach to do or a bit younger because Zach's growing out a bit a bit now yeah but yeah we came here oh, beginning of September last year yeah and we stayed down there and we had pizza and takeaway from yeah, Dover we did. yeah we did we drove, drove all the way here from Dover with pizza yeah basically we got off the boat found that and then we knew about this place it was a bit further than we thought but we got here like I think about 11 o'clock at, at night it night, was yeah and that had got a nice space and uh, yeah we enjoyed a nice sleep here didn't we? Yeah. Obviously we had to get home the next day for work the day after. The telly go round. <laughs> Thomas comes out from the back one. <laughs> oh yes. There he is look hiding in there. Got all the floodgates down here as well aren't they in case the sea yeah. levels rise. This is the life, Zach. <laughs> this Ooh, is the cool. life. Oh, yeah. oh, we've seen better ones, but it's not a bad one, is it? Oh. No, it's got like raised top ones and things. It's a bit nicer walking this way out that wind. Because <laughs> it ain't half blowing when you're walking that away. Ernst Bay. Burn. I said it, Ernst Bay. I know. I said it then. I said it. £6.50 for adults, £5.50 for Zach. Yeah, we've got some better ones in this, haven't we? Yeah, we found better ones, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it does. We've seen worse. Well kept, yeah. Who remembers having one of these as a kid? Oh, I used to love these. Whee! Big kid. Oh, look at him go! <laughs> you need to stop us, Zach, because we'll be in here all afternoon. <laughs> oh! They do a full English breakfast for £8.50. Play. You win the you win a key ring look. Oh, boys and girls. Yeah, oh, no. with a prize. <laughs> sweet, <laughs> such a sweet. I'm gonna walk up and walk down one of the back roads because I believe there's some shops down here. We didn't come down here last time. We only walked down the seafront there. Mm -hmm. That sun's gone in. I oh, know. It's still not cold. Though. No, it's not cold. Definitely not cold. Just windy. We found Sports Direct, Zach's looking for a Sports Direct. Oh, scare electric there, Zach. This is a free shop. Everything in this shop is free for anyone and everyone. <laughs> wow. That's quite cool, isn't it? Isn't it? And this is in Herne Bay. It was a bit expensive here, 165.9 in Herne Bay. We have seen it where we just come from um, on that in just about 159 I think it was. So yeah. if we have to go back to Sports Direct, we'll fill up with diesel down there. Yeah. Because it seems to be 160 of most places. So I can't see it getting any cheaper towards Dover. How big a pizza box is that? Fly mate. They must be two foot narrow to pizzas. <laughs> never seen a pizza box that big. <laughs> no, I've never seen one that big either. And there's a kebab place over there. Oh, fish and chips. Oh, are we going to be cooking tea later or getting some? <laughs> no, we're going to have to cook tea. Oh dear. If you want to go to the seaside and you want takeaway, come to Herne Bay. There's some more up there, more pizzas, kebabs, chips. It's got it all. If you want to take away, that is. Or a charity shop. It's got a few charity shops. Mm. And a few other shops up there. But Zach's shoes are rubbing him now. So. They've been head, rubbing me the whole time. Been rubbing you the whole time, but it's got a bit worse. Look at this pretty shop. Pretty shop. Oh, it's a cafe. It's sparkling. Nice building. 
Mm. Some sort of shirt. Oh, it's a, a day spa and salon. Oh, yeah. Very grand. Mm. Right, we know that bit's near the van, so if we head down this way. Right, we need to, it's dead end down there, so we need to be going down this alleyway to the seafront to get back through to the, to the seafront, Zach, down this way. I'll tell you what we forgot from Aldi, Zach. What? What did we want last night after cake. tea? Cake. We got cake. Did we? Yeah, we got cheesecake. Oh, we got a cheesecake. Well, no, proper cake. Cheesecake is close enough. Mmm, cheesecake is really nice actually, I forgot about that. <laughs> That's really somebody's, somebody's got the wheels off, look. Mm. Yeah, a nice little, uh, nice little shopping bit. Mm, Quite yeah. a, I like it, but it's yeah, nice. I do. Just a nice little place. Never seen, well, I've only been a couple of times, but never seems too crowded. I bet if you come down here in the school holidays, it is. Mm. And here we are back at the van. So it should be just across yeah. there. So I mentioned earlier I need to go to tool station for some CT1. Now if you don't know what CT1 is, this is what CT1 is. It's a sealant and construction adhesive. It's probably the strongest one available on the planet. Elder builders use it. Great for sticking solar panels on, um, roof vents, anything you want. I um, put the solar panels on with this stuff and I've got these blink outdoor cameras which I had in these cases and I'm simply gonna CT1 these on the mirror arms of this van so I can look down either side of the van now they're a bit vulnerable low down somebody could probably get hold of it and chop it off and nick it but so yeah this is the blink camera available from Amazon it's got a battery that lasts up to two years um, I've been in cupboard so it's like right I'll get some CT1 and I'm going to stick these on the mirrors I'll show you where I'm going to stick them I've had one on there temporarily that's obviously in the case it's a bit bulky but I'm going to put these here and just CT1 them on there because on the old van I had them up there and if I put them on this they'll stick out I'm liable to catch them on something. So a bit of CT1. We'll hold that on there. Lovely. I might have to put a bit of tape on it because it's a bit windy, so it's just blowing it a little bit. But we'll see how they go with some of this on them. So I put a thin bead CT1 underneath, just on that bottom edge, and that'll be strong enough to hold that on there. Don't need a lot, don't need it ever so thick. It's probably about a mil thick there. Take about 12 hours to dry. And I can still get to the back to change the battery. So they think maybe might put a bead down there onto this, but it's flexible, so that should be plenty for there. And uh, unless you know it's there, you're probably not going to notice it. But it enables us to be able to see down this side, down the other side. Should we be away from the van or in the van and hear any noises? Like I say, I've got this one tie wrapped on just to test it out. Chop all that off and CT1 that one on. Yeah, so you can see, just put a thin bead of it on there, not a lot. And I'll let you know if they fall off, but they shouldn't do because this stuff is super strong. Catherine's enjoying a nice coffee. Yeah. It's a beautiful day out there. Shame about the wind, other than that, it's beautiful. Mm. So you can probably see that place right out there in the distance. It's like framework and stuff. And we've always wondered, we wondered what it was last time, weren't we? We just Googled it and looked it up. That, that thing right out there was the end of the pier, which went all the way into there. So you can see the pier comes to where this car is, and then all the way out to there. In 1978 it was destroyed in a storm and then in 1980 they dismantled the piece that went between there. That's a hell of a pier. It's miles that. Wow, that must be one of the longest piers. But yeah, very interesting. I didn't realise they made them go that far. 
So Zach's found a little bit of information on the pier while I was out there. So the original pier was opened in 1832. It was 3,633 feet long and it cost £50,000 to design. Wow, that was cheap, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It was officially designed by Thomas Telford and yeah, just it got destroyed by a storm in uh, around the 1980s and now all that stands of it is around like 50 to 100 foot of it. It's long though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think that's what it was. So a bit of an history lesson for Zach as well. Yeah, because we were wondering what the little like island type mm. thing was out there, so Zach decided to research it I and see what it was. Maybe taking drone out there, but it is very windy. Mm, it is very windy. Mm. So it's that time of day again, we're always eating, so it's time for tea. And what are we having today? Um, we grabbed a chicken stir fry from Aldi. Of course. Catherine is going to be chef tonight, she said she'd I'm like cooking. a turn at cooking. Yeah, I'm cooking. I picked up some yeah. egg noodles from yeah. Aldi, I do like them, and they are very filling. They are, and Look when I can find it, which full of was, food. Oh no. yeah. We are spoiling ourselves today, but we got one of those from Aldi. A chicken stir fry, well, Chinese few, chicken yeah, stir Yeah, we've fry. had these a few times, they're really yes. nice. And of course, the Ridge Monk is ideal for doing this kind yep. of stuff. But not that one. Oh, look at all, all, all them peppers. I you don't. need to mind your feet, Dad. I'll have extra peppers because Catherine doesn't like red peppers. I don't. Or is it the, too much for me. The red peppers don't like Catherine. Don't, yeah, yes, that's the better way of putting is it? it. Is that yeah. the way, right that's way, the way around? That's the right way around. Yeah, so we just... Uh, Watching a bit of old YouTube on the TV. It's nice to have time to catch up, innit? Just yes. to sit and chill and just, you know. Yeah, just to sit and chill. Yeah. Zach's having chicken nuggets and chips because. What sauce do you want pudding? That's his favourite meal. Tomato, please. Oh, yes. We've got another motorhome joined us. They don't seem to be able to park very well because he's right on the white lines. So, obviously, these decatos, the mirrors stick out. So, not a very bright way to park if another van or two comes in tonight. Right, so... Is it Bo? Bo's down here, he's going to be ready for his tea soon, aren't you? I might just do his now before I start on ours and take my... Uh, yeah, out. go on then Mum, I'll have my uh, biscuits and salmon. Yeah, because we've told everybody that we've uh, been giving him a little bit of salmon out of a tin each yeah. time we're giving biscuits. Right, I need his bowl, um, For a bit of protein. And he seems to be doing very, he very well. On it, well, he's thriving on something. Well, so he used to, he used to hesitate eating this food. He used to leave oh, it for it hours and hours. Dry biscuits aren't very appealing, now there's are not, they? <laughs> now there's not a single. Uh, now there's not oh, no. just no. mark left in the oh. oh, I mean, look at this. He knows what's coming now, don't you? Oh, mum, I hope I get some of that salmon on my biscuits. It's the best. I love my salmon. Good boy. Yes, and he has his joint supplements in the morning as well. But look, look at this. This is eager to go. Mm. What we do is we open the tin and they keep for a few days. So we're putting a tub in the fridge. Mm. Um, obviously, because he can't eat a full tin because it'd be too much for him. Yeah. Oh, yes. I'm ready for my tea. I'm going to sit down, carry on watching the Slaw's adventures we're watching today. Yeah, so I Mr. Think, and Mrs. Slaw. I think me and Zach might pop to the arcades in a bit when they're all lit up. And pop to the arcades. What, two P machine in? Oh, yes, of course. You know me well. Looks like tea is ready. Mmm. Mmm, a nice healthy tea. Yeah, it is. Looks very yummy. They're nice, these stir fries, and they're only a couple of quid. They are, they are very nice, we like them. I think this prob this whole tea's probably cost like less than three quid. Yes, just. Just. Bargain tea. Mm -hmm. And a tasty one. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Right, better leave us to this. Mm. So after a lovely tea, we're just going to sit here on this wall and listen to the sound of the water, mm. aren't we? I could nod off listening to it, it's so it's, peaceful. It's beautiful here, and the good mm. thing about this car park is, is it's got barriers on it where you have to come in on an AMPR system, pay as you leave, mm. so you're not going to get no boy racers coming around the car park or yeah. anything. But it's absolutely beautiful tonight. Mm. It's just it really one of, is. One other motorhome here and us. 
sound of the waves and the seagulls and that's it isn't it even the mm. traffic's calmed down she says it's nice but you wait till seagulls are pitter pattering <laughs> on the roof at 4 a.m <laughs> and i'm banging on roof trying to get rid of the devils <laughs> there was one on the roof earlier i oh, thought they... somebody throwing <laughs> someone in the van <laughs> Get fat seagull on it's, the roof. They don't, they don't sound like seagulls, they sound like elephants. Like, I don't think they were changing his wellies or his uh, hiking boots or something. Or it's waders. It was changing something. So we're going to end this video here because tomorrow we're going somewhere. Well, we've else. Been we've been, yeah, well, somewhere else. But we've been looking up various places of where to go. I've uh, been online half afternoon. Something of interest to keep, to keep us all motivated yeah. and ready for mm -hmm. uh, uh, two weeks tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. To our ferry. And I think I've done quite well because I've found another freebie. So Catherine's found us a freebie to go mm. to tomorrow. So if you want to know where it is, you'll have to tune in next time. You will. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. like freebies. Yes. So I want to thank you all for watching. Mm. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.